Yo, what is going on everyone? In today's video I'm gonna walk you through some quick and easy tips on how to lower your input delay and boost your FPS by optimizing your NVIDIA graphics card. I'm gonna do this through the NVIDIA control panel, the profile inspector and a couple of registries. Before we get into the video, I just want to quickly tell you about my premium PC tweaking service. If you want your PC running at its best in terms of frames, input delay or ping, make sure to check out my Discord, which is linked on the screen and linked in the bio, with over 1000 reviews combined. Okay, so now that we actually get started, the first thing you want to do is right click on your background or press on search and type NVIDIA control panel and open it or right click in the background and just open it through there. Click on adjust image settings or preview. Uh, make sure use advanced 3D image settings is ticked here. Click on manage 3D settings. Um, now you just simply want to copy my settings. So everything from image scaling to anti-aliasing mode is going to be off. Then scroll down a bit. Look for OpenGL Rendering GPU, make sure it's set to your GPU by double clicking and changing it to your GPU. And then Power Management Mode to prefer maximum performance, preferred refresh rate on highest available. And ideally on shader cast size, uh, I would say put it on unlimited, but if you have a SSD which is 500 gigabytes or less, or you overall have like a very little amount of space left, I would recommend putting the max 10 gigabytes as mine. Especially if you have a 200 gigabyte SSD, make sure it's on 10 gigabytes. And then scroll down a bit more, look for threaded optimization, make sure it's on, and then vertical sync off, and then press on configure surround the physics, click on processor, make sure it's at your GPU, apply it on the bottom right. Click on change resolution, uh, click on use NVIDIA color settings and make sure it's set like this and then make sure the output dynamic range is on full and apply it as well click on adjust desktop size desktop color settings and then this is just personal preference but if you want to see your opponents better or like an amazing game then you preferably want to make your digital vibrance around 75 to 100 100 is probably the most ideal even but i like 75 more and then click on uh, just this sample position and then here you want to make sure your monitors are set to no scaling unless you play on stretched So if you play on stretch, it will be a full screen if you play on native ideally no scaling and then Apply it And once it's applied you want to make sure That you have enabled developer settings enabled you enable it by clicking on desktop and then click on it once and then it's ticked and then the developer tab will open and manage GPU performance counters will come press on allow access to GPU performance counters to all users and apply it and that's everything for the control panel okay so once you're done with the NVIDIA control panel just close it to make sure everything is applied and then for the next thing you're gonna press on the Windows plus R key on your keyboard then the run tab will open, type in the reg edit, press enter or ok. Now you're gonna be here, then expand HK local machine, expand system, expand current control set, expand control, expand class, and now you're gonna look for 4D36E968. So right here, just make sure this start matches what I just said, so 4D36E968 then expand it, click on the 000 folder and how you know this is correct is that there is or that your GPU is basically here, you can see my GPU is right here and right here, right here with these files now what you're gonna do is is move your mouse to like an empty spot, right click new uh, click on D word 32 of it then you're gonna name it Disable Dynamic P State and then make sure the capital red letters are set correctly. Press Enter after it's made. Um, I'm getting an error because mine already exists, so I'm gonna delete this one. And then you're gonna double click on it basically and then click on Decimal and make sure the value is set to 1. This ensures your GPU is running at its full speed. And if you're on a laptop, Make sure not to do this because laptops tend to overheat and it's, it's not it's not good to do on a laptop in general because overheating will cause bad FPS and you will just get worse FPS. 
and if your temps are around 75 or more while you're playing a game or when there's load on your GPU then don't do this as well because then you're gonna get bad FPS as well um, but then you're just gonna press OK once this one is applied and then just close it close the registry editor, restart your PC and that's gonna apply uh, once everything is applied, just make sure you restart your PC and then you can go test it and let me know in the comments if it worked for you. Make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want to see next.